Welcome, all you plus two comedy modifiers, back to the stream. Welcome back to the TEC archives. I'm your host, TV's Noah, and uh, I have a little tiny itty bit of smoothie left. And now it's gone. And now let's jump back into the TEC archives. So uh, we are definitely heading towards some semblance of a conclusion here, as uh, it seems like more and more people are being drawn to a single point in time. Like, it seems like we've had all these interdimensional time travel -y moments, and now it all seems to be pointing to a single moment in history. So I think we're going to approach that soon. Uh, at least that's my understanding of what is going on. I've been excited for this episode for a while because I thought it was a spider. Like, I thought this was, like, the eyes of a spider. It's a Christmas tree. It's very clearly a Christmas tree. I also got the TEC archives up. I'm going to try to do this in order, so if this... Let's see if this video is before or after January 19th. It says New Year's party, so I doubt it. Be quiet. I'm not... I'm not done. I'm thinking about stuff. Uh... Mo. Okay, yeah, New Year's Eve. All right, so let's uh, let's go to theater mode so we can get all of this. There are universes where time runs backwards. Oh, okay, so because we talked about the conveyor belt theory, which was introduced, which was basically the idea of, of using jumping through uh, universes to travel through time. The idea of two conveyor belts being next to each other, one moving a little faster than the other, jumping into one, moving through time, jumping back into the other one. There's a Rick and Morty episode about it. Uh, but now the idea that time can run backwards means that there is backwards time travel through using multiple universes. That I actually really like that as a concept, that the idea of entering a new universe being a way to use time travel. I like it. I dig it. Six, twenty-five, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen. <laughs> Five. Where's where's the button? Yeah. May all acquaintance be forgot. Now it's a red spider. Never brought to mind. May old acquaintance be forgot. Oh, old time. Do you guys hear this? I don't know if this is too quiet. Yeah! <laughs> the red lights. Nobody knows why they came back. They had vanished almost four years ago and have not been seen since. There are rumors that four years ago was not the first sighting. No. 
They say the lights have been appearing every four years, like leap years and Olympics. So I conducted my own research. The rumors are true. The first sighting was in 1959. And from then on, the lights kept appearing every four years. So 1959 is like the beginnings of the TEC archive, like the information that we have. So that's just making sense. 1959, 19, this is just, this is how to count by force. And now 1987. And now, January 1st, 1987. On New Year's Day, it's all happening again. Mass violence. Thousands dying in the streets. And the smiling children have resurfaced to claim more. No, I was... Claim more members. And then it ends abruptly. Yarn, I, I am suspicious. I feel like there might be something hiding in this video. And I would like a little bit of guidance if I should spend the time analyzing this one. And by that I mean like downloading it and speeding it up or reversing it or something. Found footage of a New Year's party in 1987. So, just real quick, I think this is important to bring up. Okay, thank you. This is January 1st, 1987. Found footage of a New Year's party in 1987. The party would be in 1986, then. Because you have the party on New Year's Eve. The counting and stuff. But eh, maybe I'm just being a stick in the mug. This was on a memory stick. A memory stick that was posted through my letterbox this morning. There wasn't anything out of place about the memory stick. And there were no notes saying who sent it. There was nothing else on the memory stick. If it's one of them, I need to go and stay somewhere else for a while. They may know where I live. Okay, gotcha. And then I forgot we got to do this part. Decode, please. Decode America edition, please. Let's go to the mono. Alphabetic substitution. And we just get rid of the first part so it has enough information to auto-decrypt this for us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I remember that day. Do me I remember that day. That's That's the only new part. I remember that day. Yeah, I don't know who is speaking through this code. Yeah, so it would be this year. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, geez. I never noticed the red lights in the New Year's party in 2003. Did you see that? Also, I knew that the mass violence in animals eventually humans, small children. I knew they were from those red lights. It's an echo chamber. Got it. All right. Next video, please. So this is, I'm interested, this seems like it's a phone call. So I'm very interested to see where this is going. So I'm going to guess this might not even be an archive video. This might be. Ooh. 
We're actually going to hear people talking. I don't know who Jamie is. Okay, so this is after the event of this. So let's give this a read real quick. Did I skip three? Was I just excited? I was. I was very excited. Okay, so now we know when that goes. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Th these all look very important, too. So maybe we should watch these. <laughs> Record one, the package. Something happened yesterday. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thanks for that information there, Ash. Uh, this morning, a package arrived at my apartment. He's getting good at editing. Ash. The package didn't come with any notes or signatures to let me know who sent it. It's a very different vibe than previous videos. Instead, it only had my name hastily scribbled on the side. Hastily? That looks pretty nice. And there's a period. Don't be a dick, Ash. Although the writing was rushed, I recognized X's handwriting. <gasps> Inside the box was a hard drive. There was nothing else in the box. Uh, there is a USB tape, uh, cable there. Scratched to the surface of the hard drive was this symbol. Ah, uh, it's five. I'm yet to understand what this symbol means. It, mean, it means it's time to play Dead by Daylight. I plugged the hard drive into my computer, hoping there were not any viruses on it. I was wrong. The hard drive contained multiple files. The first file was a text file. Are you going to show it to us? There we go. Ash, I don't know where I am. This is how X sounds in my brain. <laughs> or how this message is going to reach you. I have. He gave me a stack of sheets of paper that I could send you to let you know I am alive. I do not know what he's going to do with them, but I hope they do reach you. I am still alive, and this isn't a trick. Well, good. I thought maybe, but it says it's not a trick, so we can 100% trust this. Uh, he wants to hurt you, to make you angry, to make you come after him. Don't! This is what he wants. Stay safe. My ARG brain tells me that if I actually had access to this file, I would like turn it into a JPEG or find something deep within it, but you know. Yeah, it is. Apparently I did not need to pause to read this. I don't trust it. Good man, Ash. I assume. I actually don't know. There are also six PNG files, all with strange names. Uh, so that appears to be like the, a capital build. It kind of looks like City Hall of Philadelphia, to be honest. Um, do I have a notepad ready to go? I don't... Uh, that's something else I kind of want. So let's just keep that. Uh, and so we got two That's a P, right? Yeah. Kind of, yeah, right? It looks like it's the William Penn. Yeah, yeah. You 
TK. I don't recognize that. Hey! A I P M I W F. Don't recognize her. Dasa Angel. Ver. Vermic. Oh. Win. Wim. I'm sorry. Wim. That's just the void. Kai. Nick. Ooh. Kai Kai Green Game Hey, what is that? Don't look at Go back, go back again. Was there messages on all of them? No, this doesn't look like it has a message. This doesn't look like it has a message. Don't look at the light. Don't look at the light. It's the sun. It's, this is just an eclipse warning. Some trees. Ah, uh, that's the light. Don't look at it, folks. I hope you're all looking away as I write. Yuri. Vapi. Fitzwood. To give. This was everything on the hard drive. Probably could have just gotten a thumbstick, saved some money, but suddenly there was a knock at the door. The pizza had arrived. Oh, X had come home. I hope you brought the pizza. Okay. First and foremost, here's what I'm thinking. This stuff clearly has to go into the same decoder. Uh, well, let's throw this at the bottom just to add to it. Second, this sounds wildly slowed down. So let's uh, real quick go into this. Let's double the speed. Let's see if we get anything out of this. It sounds a little bit better, but. Nothing, nothing too uh, obvious there. To refresh this. We'll see. Leave that part, boom. Decrypt automatically. Let's see what we get here. Origin. So the okay, so the, the name here's the names of the the images. Let's let's so the first one is called Origin, which is the which is the the building. Which I feel like this is is somewhere in England, even though it looks like Willie P. Um, not herself is the old woman. 
Uh, mistaken for angels is the angel. The queen? Or the beckoned? The Wildwoods. Nightmare followers. And then X has returned home as the thing. All right. Interesting. Um, all right. The photo is Queen Victoria, according to this. Mistaken for Angels, The In Between, The Wildwoods, and Nightmare Followers. Interesting. Okay, let's get the next one. I know where Wildwood is, too. It's pretty close to Philadelphia. It's like two hours. The two cameras. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's just slow that, play that playback speed back down. Where have you been? What do you mean? You've been... Yeah. happen X. But that thing is not X. Mm, that's an interesting thing. They are not the same camera. <laughs> they that, that that clearly says four and that clearly says five. <laughs> On the left is the camera X had with him when he came back. On the right is the camera I have. So he came back with the four and not the... Okay. He came back with an earlier one. All right. It is possible that this thing posing as X brought another camera from the same brand. It's not the same camera. However, each camera has an ID has an individual ID printed on the bottom. Those are clearly not the same camera. <laughs> Both exactly the same, except where it says they're different cameras. Am I crazy? <laughs> Uh, 
Practica IVF. Practica VF. This is the one he comes home with. Actually, I don't know X's gender, but this is the one X comes home with. I'm pretty sure it, it's male. Uh, this is the one X comes home with. This is the one that they find her, uh, that Ash finds. They are not the same camera, objectively. So, I'm trying to think back to the X video where we see him. You remember X videos? Uh, we were trying to remember back the X video. Uh, and where, where he gets taken and all the other stuff. Uh, we never see X in that video. It is entirely possible. Ow! Uh, it is entirely possible that Ash just found someone else's camera. That's kind of like the Occam's razor answer to this, in my opinion. Is, yeah, that wasn't Ash's camera. It, it's entirely possible that X went, didn't see anything of note, and came back. In X's idea of things. When Ash went, something of note happened to someone else, and Ash found the camera. The other idea, which ties into the whole treadmill timeline thing, is Ash did something in the facility where Ash ended up on another, in another dimension with a faster timeline. And when Ash left, rather than it being a few hours, it had been a few months. Because he thought it was September and it's actually January. So... That, that, to me, is clearly what happened to X. X was in the facility, went somewhere, ended up in another dimension for moments, uh, sped through time, left whatever that area was, came back to our dimension, and now is back. Uh, the other idea, of course, is this is an X. Ash is claiming that this is an X, that this is someone posing as X, which I guess could explain why the cameras are wrong. Um, but the hmm makes me think that this is not an error. We are supposed to realize these are different cameras. And there could be some sort of, like, I thought we were leading to like a bootstrap paradox type situation where like, yeah, the, there ends up being two cameras. The cameras even look different. Uh, maybe it's the angle, but, like, this kind of has, like, a gear feel to it, and this is smooth over here. These are different cameras! I'm gonna... Uh, do, hey, if you're part of the, uh, of the, of the Discord that is discussing this, uh, I need you to get close to your screen right now. If you're not part of the Discord, you can close your eyes close your ears for the next like 20 seconds but uh this is just me addressing the discord here so let me just come here that was the wrong button come here come here come here come here come here that's what i thought how did you think those were the same camera how i i i i i i So here's the thing. Jay, that wasn't for you. That wasn't for you. You should have had your eyes closed as requested. What I find interesting is the damning piece of evidence that Ash is trying to present to us is that the serial numbers are identical. And that's something that Ash does not include. A picture of both serial numbers would be great. But Ash doesn't include that. We were also told pretty early that Ash is not to be trusted.
So has Ash just been lying to us the whole time? These are very different cameras. These are very different cameras. I just... Hold on. Hold on. Right. Just wanted to. So yeah. The start of recording a conversation I had with X when he came to my... Okay, he. Good, I'm not screwing this up. Uh, apartment last week. I believe it was this coded message that was saying that Ash was a liar. So we still don't know who this is. There is something wrong here. One of them is lying. Yeah! Ash! Those are not the same cameras. I'm on Team X. I'm on Team X. Except for when it comes to Twitter, then I'm on Team Twitter. But I'm on Team X right now. So clearly not the same camera. I'm so upset. <laughs> anyway... Go back. Well, as a liar. Let's go ahead and check out this obituary. Record three. The hell is this? Why is this so different from the other records? Your journey is almost over. What? This is entirely different. doesn't even have a code. What's happening here? This is on January 19th. So this is the same day as the other post. Let's read the other post to see if we get anything out of this. I don't know where I am. One second, I was arguing with X about cameras. Idiot. Uh, and next, I was here in a forest. How are you with Wi-Fi? Uh, the forest. The one with the bright light splitting through the trees. The one from the photo on the hard drive. You're in Wildwood. You're going to find some drunk frat guy soon enough. It'll be fine. Well, you're in Wildwood in January, so it's probably a wasteland. And I believe if you keep walking, you'll run into the Aqua Teens. Anyway, I could see a figure standing in the distance. A man in a brown waistcoat holding a golden pocket watch. Uh, he smiled at me. He waved me over. Hesitantly, I walked over to him and realized he was standing on the edge of a cliff overlooking the source of the light. Uh, it was a giant white orb glowing with the power of a thousand suns. It hurt to look at it. Don't look at the light. Uh, so I looked back at the man. What's this? I asked. It's time to go. I don't know why that's how he sounds. My visits. What do you mean? What's happening here? Please, Ash. I already know everything. I'm trying to guide you out of here. You don't belong. You need to jump. I knew what he meant. And I started to wonder if he was telling the truth. So I jumped into the light. Into the light. Um, I then assume he landed and wrote a blog. Interesting. All right, so let's let's go ahead and get this then. Virginia Collins and Miles Collins. Uh, 
Yarn, remind me, uh, Dr. Collins is one of the doctors, and this is his wife and daughter, I believe? Thought I heard an ice cream truck that was about to go crazy. A bit of snagglepuss. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exit stage right already. I only have so many voices. <laughs> Interesting side note, though. I, I think really bears mentioning. Their eyes aren't blacked out. Everybody else has their eyes censored. What's going on there? <laughs> Colin's family die in house. Says the timeless. <laughs> August 16th, 1931. The devastating turn of events, the quiet town of Blank was shaken to its core as Virginia Collins and her young daughter, Miley Collins, lost their lives in a house fire that engulfed their residence on a date last night. Oh, that's probably a location. Thanks, Yarn! <laughs> I, am a, I am a little good at this. <laughs> I've done enough of these that I should know something. That being said, I'm totally lost at what's happening still. Uh, the only survivor, Arthur Collins, was grief-stricken. Gr grief uh, father and husband claims he witnessed a sinister figure who he described as a smiling man staring, uh, starting, sorry, the inferno. The fire broke out around 11 p uh, 11.30 p.m., quickly consumed the Collins family home. The county fire department uh, rep responded promptly, but the flames were too intense, leaving little hope for the trapped victims. Neighbors reported hearing frantic screams, adding uh, to the heart-wrenching scene as the fire raged on. Arthur Collins managed to escape the inferno with burns on his hands and face. Uh, in a state of shock, he was taken to a hospital for medical attention. Authorities are currently investigating the cause of the fire. The police have not ruled out foul play. We are following that the... the behavior. Hmm, interesting. That is true. I already read this. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Smiling man. <laughs> the time you've spent here is coming to a close. There is nothing left for you here. Why is it split up like this? I don't like this. That's amazing grace. Do you understand and do you understand yet? No, I, no, I just said, are you listening? I don't, I'm lost. You need to pay more attention. Okay. You are missing everything. Everything? No, I caught the cameras. I caught the fact that the eyes weren't censored out. That's... There's two things. You already have everything you need. You have the keys you desire. It is time to unlock the box. I don't know how to unlock the damn box. We 
found this, like, episode three of this Let's Play. We found this box. There's buttons that I can click on. And click on here. And click on the locks. I have no idea how to unlock this damn box. Time to learn the truth. All your questions will be answered. Or will it? Stanley? Stanley. Is this, is this all just a Stanley parable tie-in? Are you crows, crows, crows? It is time to stop watching. What? It's time to stop watching. This is... This is not what she wanted. Did you guys enjoy the trash truck, truck and ice cream man who are outside right now ruining my life? This is like the big ending and it's ruined by noise. It's too hot for me to be freaking out like that. She asked you a question. She did? You never answered. I'm bad at getting back to texts. Answer the question. All you weary travelers who were dragged along the ride, I have a single message. This is not for you. That's, okay, so it's House of Leaves. Three keys collected. Journey complete. We did it. <laughs> Do you guys want to listen to Perceptive Check? This, for some reason. No, I don't want. No! <laughs> this, to me, sounded like. Uh, Daft Punk's Get Lucky. Like, really slowed down. Mm. We're up all night to the sun. We're up all night to get some. We're up all night for good fun We're up all night to get lucky Um, so I guess my question to you Uh You think it's the code? Oh, you think You think it's the The, the letters? I mean, I guess we kind of have, like, keys here. Mm -hmm. 
It's yeah, everything's clickable, but like in a weird order for some reason. So I I think I'm going to to, to ask because I do have to wrap up for the day. Uh, yarn, has this been solved? Because the the three out of three keys uh, to me implies that uh, it has been. Um. That we, or at least we have the keys, they've just not been used. No, this hasn't been solved. Um, so, it, it seems to me, what, what I would guess is throughout this game, we... Really? Oh, okay, I thought this was about, like, clicking stuff and stuff. But no, it's it's not about finding the right codes and numbers and then hitting this and then it unlocking. Also, just if this is the Doomsday Box, um, flathead screwdriver. Oh, is it the song from Inception? That's interesting. Because that's all about fluctuating time and things like that. That's interesting. Uh, so, at this point, I should be able... I don't say I'm... I'm not going to say I have. Uh, but I have the ability to obtain all the information I need. Based, based on what I've looked at so far. Is basically what I've gleaned from that video. Even though what it's really saying is X has it. Who I'm guessing X is Stanley. Um, okay. Alright, so I'm not going to like knock myself out on trying to go back and figure this out. We'll, we'll just continue onward. Um, I want to get to the Ash phone call. Cause that's a short one, I believe. We have enough time for this, uh, and then we'll get into all this stuff. But now, like now, we have someone new talking to us because they they're using a new font. But uh, let's hear from Ash. Jamie, I'm leaving this message as a final goodbye. I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't say any of what I'm about to say in person. But, but trust me, it's better this way. By the time you hear this, I'll already be gone. I I've done things. Things that have hurt people. My family experimented on people, and, and I let it happen. Oh. I, I thought it was for the greater good, but now I finally realized what it was actually all for. They weren't helping people. They were trying to get back the ones they had lost. To start with, my name isn't Ash Whittington. It's Ashton Collins. Collins. Great grandson of Arthur Collins and the last surviving member of the Collins family. My great grandfather was the true founder of TEC. The Lorraine family was a family of frauds. Macy had visions of the technology that TEC would develop in the future and, and, and created it decades too early. She Bootstrap paradox. Somehow changed the course of time itself. While I was away on my mission to uncover as much of the truth as possible regarding TEC, I was confronted by the SEC, the Society of Course Correction. They knew that something had gone wrong with time and told me what was really supposed to happen in our timeline. In 1931, Arthur lost his daughter and his wife in a house fire. Mm -hmm. He always claimed that someone he called the Smiling Man was the culprit, but there was never any evidence, and the case went unsolved. Arthur turned to science, and it was only then that he discovered a new technology, the Echo Chamber. It's a 
technology that would allow him to access entire other universes. Mm -hmm. He dedicated his life to try to find one where his wife and daughter were both still alive, and in doing so, he cracked the fabric of reality itself. He found what he was looking for, but at the cost of the stability of his own universe. Whoops. He managed to bring his wife and daughter back, but, but time was ruptured and bled into people's minds, giving them visions of the future. It was these visions which had given him his family back. By blessing Macy with visions of TEC's technology and creating the technology early, Arthur's family was never killed, and that's why I'm here now. If it wasn't for the visions, I, I would have never existed. The visions? And this is what the shadow people wanted from me. I I'm an anomaly, and I shouldn't exist. So they're taking me somewhere. Far away. And I'm never going to see you again. I'm sorry that I never told you the truth. <laughs> but now you see why. I, I was afraid that you would blame me for everything. And I well, was afraid of losing you forever. Well. So I have to go now. I, I'm sorry. And I love you. I, 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 I gotta get this. Hold on one second. Yeah. Hello? Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Ash. Um, Jamie? Just, I just really want to clarify a few things. Uh, never going to see you again, apparently. Uh, I lent you... Uh, a holographic uh, Mewtwo uh, for that tournament. Um, could I? Do you know where you left that? Because I got a uh, there's a big event going on at my comic book shop, and I'd really like that back. Um, it's like twenty bucks, you know. So I, I'd really like that back, you know. Uh, let me know when you get this. Um, good luck on being an anomaly. Uh, yeah, uh, catch on the the flippity flop. Love you, bye. Uh, so I'm guessing that was not to X. Actually, I'm guessing that was to Jamie. Okay, I'm gonna guess Jamie's. Well, Jamie could be either gender. Cause this like. A lot of the information in that does not really sound like a message to X. I still think X is Stanley, but that I could be way off. Uh, sometimes the only way. Ash, one of three. Okay, so Ash is one of the keys. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to open the box. Ash. Or do I do I do it like this? Did that work? Can I can I put in anything and get something? Just out of curiosity. The answer is yes. Um, so I don't know if typing in Ash did anything. I don't go to YouTube right now. <laughs> Exciting. Oh my gosh. I'm going to continue my rant here, but that fake X was still X, but he was from a different timeline entirely. Okay. That's an interesting theory that that is X from another time. Okay. All right. And now I fully understand Echo Cronus. Seeing something familiar, although you've never seen it before, that must be something that Arthur experienced when he transferred himself to multiple timelines. Then, okay, yeah, all right. Uh, and the, Emil the visions of the future, that was Amelia. Amelia was one of the known uh, victims of this. 
and Maisie Maisley created the technology await that reminds me of her video actually the odd timeline she went to was that due to the rupture in time my previous theory is correct then the shadow people are people from other universes or timelines aren't they something makes sense finally but not everything Just to try a thing. Nope. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm going to continue on this road. I think we should probably, based on what we have here, have two more streams of this left. I would guess, because I'm not getting into any of this stuff. Uh, I mean, we just got the one episode, because I'm not going to watch this. <laughs> That's just a recap. We're going to watch these three, and then maybe we'll be at the end of this. So uh, be sure to join me next Monday, because this might be the end of the TEC archives, as, as I know it, because I don't know what's going on after this, but we'll see. But uh, thank you so much for joining me and speculating or puppet mastering depending on your role in, in relationship to this game uh, having a great time uh, if you're having a great time be sure to subscribe to plus two comedy gaming catch up on all my past live streams and join me here live plus two comedy on twitch and i'll see you all next time boop <laughs>